Hello everyone, Greg Turner, and I'm here to talk to you today about pencils, but before we get into that, have a look at my arts-garden.net or books, music, and art dot Etsy.com sites if you'd like to see more of my art, and so these are some of my other social media sites. Okay, so, um, pencils. You have two kinds of lead. You have um, charcoal and you have graphite. So, uh, pencils are usually for um, either embellishing a watercolor or for starting a watercolor, especially if you're using uh, colored pencils and they're also for creating drawings usually on paper but you could use other supports and they're for paintings either drawing right on the canvas or it's a plan for a painting and um, charcoal is usually used to capture the quick uh, quickly to capture the mood of a person and they're also uh, used uh, as the shade shadows and shading for interiors and for gardens they're very good for that alright so now when you're buying pencils, what should you get? You should get uh, these pencils that do not have any wood. That's what I recommend. Between a range of 2B and 9B. You can see these pencils don't have any wood. They're um, lead through and through. They just have a plastic coating to, so you don't get your hands dirty. Now, other kinds of pencils that you could be uh, investing in. There's a colorless pencil and this one is for blending and then you also have a white pencil it's for, in, for doing highlights and then tortillons are important to get I've got several and uh, they can be used for blending I like the ones that aren't hollow these ones are hollow and so that you can only have one point but this one's um, got a point on both ends and you can easily sharpen it and so I prefer this one and then uh, when you want to erase you can use one of these erasers that can be extended and you use your craft knife to cut the tip up to get all the dirt off and to sharpen it so you can do a fine point right in the middle and not mess everything up and then uh, if you wanted to uh, cover a lot of uh, surface quickly to make it dark you would need an ebony jet black extra smooth to uh, sharpen the whole thing, get rid of all the wood, and take only the lead powder to uh, darken the surface. And this is the best way to do that, in my opinion. All right, so then, uh, moving on, you want to fix your canvases. You have this um, atomizer. You put it in a uh, carton of low-fat, non-fat, or 2% milk, just like Van Gogh used to do to spray fixative on his drawings. You might need three coats, four coats, but it works. Uh, just use thick paper. Not This is not for thin paper. <clears throat> if there's too much uh, eraser material on your canvas after you're erased, you can use this brush to brush it off. And for blending, other uh, things that you can use besides tortillons are these um, makeup wedges. I've got mine quite dirty. Or these uh, makeup circles. Uh, they, they're made of foam. And uh, you can sharpen your pencils with the uh, sandpaper. And <clears throat> here's a magnifying glass for seeing your work. When you're blending, don't blend too much, just a little bit, and that's it. Alright, so uh, again, have a look at arts.garden.net or booksmusicandart.etsy.com. Thank you. Bye.